Okay, so I'm gonna reseal my trailer's roof and you can see I'm taking this this is the old stuff I put on here and I want to take it all off and here's the rubberized membrane and I'm gonna use that uh, product uh, liquid rubber for RVs um, this thing's been leaking since I bought it in 2013 and uh, I've tried different products and I think I finally found the right one. This is the old stuff I put on there. I can't remember what this was called. But it's peeling up, uh, in my opinion, too easily, so. Okay, this is the second day. The first day, I stripped off the uh, old uh, seal to this uh, membrane. Today, I laid this, I think it's ether bond tape around all the, you know, the skylight the uh, fan and the solar panel and then around the edges it took one roll to do all this i think it was a 60 foot roll or 50 foot roll and it's four inch in diameter um now i just need to do the liquid roof Okay, I just got done putting this uh, liquid rubber for RVs on the roof. And it was messy for me, just because it's just me doing it. 
I just used a roller and like a spatula. You can see there what I used. I still got a little less than a half on a gallon left on, on that one. So this needs to dry for the next three days, I think. Okay, it's been about a little more than 90 days since I put this uh, liquid rubber roof on and it's holding up really well. I think this stuff is gonna be a lot better than that previous stuff I used. Way impressed with this and I'm really happy I used the tape underneath. It's uh, dirty because it's been it rained a little, so there's a lot of dust up here. But, and here's some of that liquid rubber. It uh, dripped onto the cement. This has been here 90 days. And this stuff is just like way solid, even on the cement. So again, that's even just showing how good it sticks even, even to your concrete. So uh, here's some overspill too on the uh, tarp that I was using. And again, this has been, you know, a little more than 90 days. And uh, this stuff is sticking even to this tarp. I mean, it's rock hard on there. And the thing is, is it's flexible. So I wish I would have found this a couple years ago instead of that other crap I've been using.